So now we'll be learning about how to add fractions with unlike denominators, but that also lead to the creation of mixed numbers. So we're going to look at the steps that we follow to add fractions with unlike denominators, and uh, in that process we'll also create mixed numbers, and then we're going to apply those steps in solving some examples. So the process is similar we're going to first find the least common multiple. We're going to rewrite each of the fraction with the new denominator. So the least common multiple becomes the new denominator. We'll add the numerators together and then express the new fraction as a mixed number. So let's go ahead and get started. So we have 5 over 7 plus 2 over 3. So we have 7 and 3. Typically, if you have two prime numbers, the LCM is going to be the product, which is 7 times 3, which is 21. So, 5 over 7 is equal to, we're going to rewrite it as a new fraction, an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 21. So, 7 multiplied by 3 is 21, so we multiply the numerator by 3, so we have 15. And then we've got 2 over 3. We're going to rewrite that as a, an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 21. We multiply 3 by 7. So we multiply 2 by 7. 2 multiplied by 7, we have 14 over 21. So this now becomes 15 over 21 plus 14 over 21. So this is going to give us a denominator of 21, and then we add 15 and 14. So let's go ahead and add that together. 5 plus 4, 9, 1 plus 1, 2. So this is going to give us 29 over 21. So we divide 29 by 21. How many groups of 21 in 29? We have 1, 1 times 21. We have 21, we subtract, we're left with 8. So this is going to give us one whole number, 8 over 21, and we can't further simplify. Second question, 5 over 8 plus 2 over 3. So we have 3 and 8. 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. And this is 1 times 3. So the LCM here is going to be 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, which is 8 times 3, which gives you 24. So now what we're going to do here is we're going to rewrite each of these fractions so they have a denominator of 24. So 5 over 8, and we have a denominator of 24. So we multiply by 3 here. We also multiply by 3 up here. So 5 times 3 is 15. Now 2 over 3. We need to write it as a new fraction with a denominator of 24. We multiply 3 by 8. We also multiply 2 by 8. 2 times 8 is 16. So now we have 15 over 24 plus 16 over 24. Now, what we're going to do with that is we're going to keep our denominator and then we're going to add the numerators. So 15 plus 16, 5 plus 6, 11. We write 1 here, we carry 1 up here. 1 plus 1 plus 1, that's 3. So this is going to give us 31 over 24. So let's get 31. 24. How many groups of 24 and 31? We can only get 1. 1 times 24 is 24. We subtract. We're left with 0. 7. So this is going to give us 1, 7 over 24. Next example, we have 7 over 9 plus 7 over 8. So let's look at 9 and 8. 9 is 3 times 3. And 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. So our LCM is going to be 
9 times 8, which is 72. So, next step is we're going to rewrite each of these fractions so that we have a common denominator. So, 7 over 9, we need to write it such that the new denominator is 72. So, we multiply by 8 up here. Sorry, we multiply 9 by 8, so we also multiply 7 by 8, which gives us 56. Then, 7 over 8, we need to write it as a fraction with a denominator of 72. So, we have 8 multiplied by 9 is 72. 7 multiplied by 9 is 63. So, now, our new fractions are 56 over 72 plus 63 over 72. Now, we keep our denominator the same. Now, we add 56 and 63. 6 plus 3, 9, 5 plus 6, 11. So, we have 56 plus 63. So, this is 119 divided by 72. So, we have 11972. We have one group here. 72 multiplied by 1 is 72. 9 minus 2, 7. 11 minus 7, 4. So, this is 147 over 72. And that's our answer. Final example. 9 over 11 plus 4 over 9. The first thing we're going to do is get the least common multiple. So, we have 11 and 9. So, this is going to be 1 by 11. This is 3 by 3. So, our LCM is going to be 3 by 3 by 11, which is 99. So, next step is rewrite each of these fractions with a new denominator of 99. We have 9 over 11. We need to write it as a new fraction with a denominator of 99. We multiply by 9, and so we multiply the numerator by 9. 9 multiplied by 9 is 81. Then 4 over 9, and then we have 99. So we multiply 9 by 11 to give us 99. So we have to multiply 4 by 11 as well. It gives us 44. So, we now have 81 over 99 plus 44 over 99. So, we have our denominator is 99 and then our numerator is 81 plus 44. So, let's add that to get those together. 1 plus 4 is 5, 8 plus 4 is 12. And so, we have 125 over 99. So, we have 125, 99. There's only one group of 99 and 125, so 1 multiplied by 99 is 99. 5 minus 9, so we borrow from here, we get 1 left. 15 minus 9, we have 6. We borrow 1 from here, then we have left 11. 11 minus 9 is 2. So, this is going to give us 126 over 99. And that is our final answer.